Hey guys, it's Jader over BHA here bringing you a new video. So I was checking out some of the uh, Docker containers that were out there. I'm always looking for new stuff to try out and install, and I ran across one called Dozzle. Sometimes I install Docker containers just because. Uh, I want to play around with them. I like to try out different things and see what they do. This is kind of one of those times. Uh, so obviously I already have Portainer installed and I use that most of the time to uh, look at my Docker logs. But Dozzle uh, will allow me to view all of my Docker logs right here, live feed, um, in one specific web interface. So it's kind of neat. I don't have to go searching for them. I don't have to click on each one. This is all it does is show me live Docker logs. Let's check it out. All right, so of course here is the uh, GitHub page and I'll have the link in the description below. This will give you everything that you need as far as information goes for installing Dozzle uh, in a Docker container. So let's do a quick run through everything we're gonna cover in this video. So of course for starters, we will install Dozzle in Docker. Now, like we did last time uh, with Heimdall, we are going to be using Portainer stacks to do the install, which is similar to Docker Compose, uh, but of course in the web interface of Portainer. Once we do that, then of course we'll go over the configuration and just kind of look at uh, some of the various things that you can do with Dozzle. And lastly, just as a little added bonus, since we did the video on Heimdall, uh, I thought we would go ahead and add our uh, Dozzle container into Heimdall. So we have it right there on our Heimdall dashboard. So let's get started. All right, so even though we're using Portainer Stacks, uh, it uses the same Docker Compose uh, YAML code. Uh, so this, of course, is what we're going to be using inside of Portainer Stacks. And I'll have this in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it. Uh, but we're gonna go to our stacks here. I'm gonna edit my uh, management stack that I have for all of my management containers. Um, we'll click on editor at the top. And as you can see, I've already got it installed. But of course, this is where you would add it. Uh, so we'll run through what we did here. I just called it Dozzle. Uh, the container name, of course, is Dozzle. For the image, it's a uh, Amir 20 slash Dozzle colon latest. I set the restart to always. And then, of course, for volumes, the only uh, thing that I have to do is basically uh, give it access to that docker.sock. So it's slash var slash run slash docker.sock colon slash var slash run slash docker doc sock. For ports, um, it uses port 8080, uh, but since I use that for some of my other containers, I am uh, port forwarding 9080 to it. So under ports, uh, I have 9080 colon 8080. Again, if you're not using 8080 anywhere else, then of course you can just set it to 8080 colon 8080 if that's what you want to do. Once you're done with that, we'll hit update the stack down here at the bottom and give that a few seconds. And then of course it should uh, show up in your list of containers. So we'll go back over to containers here and we're gonna take a look at Dozzle. Here it is and everything of course looks good. It's running, been working just fine. Like I said, I already had it installed. Uh, so everything was good there and the logs there's not a lot of logs uh, that Dozzle creates, so unfortunately not much there to look at, but that's okay. That's pretty much it for this setup here. We're gonna jump over to the next step and go over the configuration. Now remember, I set up Dozzle using port 9080. 
so to access it, of course, I just uh, go to my Docker hosts IP address colon 9080. When you do that, it comes right up with this interface you see here. So of course it shows that I have 13 containers running, tells me what version of Dozzle I'm running, and then on the side over there you can see the list of all of my current Docker containers. Now if we hit the settings button at the top, there's not a lot of things you can change as far as configuration goes. Um, let's see here. If you go down under options, you can see there is a light theme. So of course by default it's set to a dark theme, but you do have the option to go with the light theme if you prefer that. You can choose to tell it if you want to use a 12 hour clock or 24 hour clock. Um, by default, of course, it shows timestamps. But that's really about it as far as your options for configuration. But of course, if you go ahead and click on any of these containers on the side, you will see the live logs for those particular containers. So that's pretty cool. We'll click on a few of these just to show you that they are generating logs. Now you do have the ability to uh, download the logs if you want. Uh, you can select logs and copy and paste them, uh, you know, if you wanted to do a search for something. You also have the ability to hit the search at the top and use regex commands uh, to search your various containers. You can select which logs you want to actually search through. But that's a pretty cool feature there. Uh, I like the fact that you're able to easily search through there and that makes it pretty nice. Another cool feature is, of course, if you see at the top, it shows you how much memory and uh, the CPU load that each of the Docker containers are actually using currently. So that's kind of neat as well. So again, I'm not sure this is anything that you necessarily need to install, but it's a pretty cool uh, little container that will allow you to uh, watch live feeds of your Docker logs. So that's pretty cool. All right, so last lesson, we were going to install it in Heimdall. Uh, again, if you didn't catch that video, here is a link in the top corner uh, to the video on how to set up Heimdall. Um, as you can see here, I have mine set up. It's already got a whole bunch of the different uh, interfaces for all of my devices around the house. We want to go ahead and add a Dozzle button here. So we'll click the setup on the side here. Hit the add button. And of course, if you just start typing Dozzle, you can see it shows up in the drop down list because they already have one pre set up for Dozzle. So we'll select Dozzle here. Then all we have to do is put in the URL to that. Again, remember we use port 9080 instead of 8080, so that's what we're going to list here. And boom, now we have a button set up for Dozzle. We'll click on that, it will jump over to Dozzle. Everything looks good. One last thing you probably want to do um, if you're going to be running Dozzle and if you are running Watchtower, uh, which automatically updates all of my Docker containers, is you'll want to go into wherever you have your configuration for Watchtower and add that additional uh, named container down here. So here is the uh, YAML configuration uh, for Watchtower, and under Command is where it lists out all of the different Docker containers, and you will want Dozzle added in there. That way it will automatically update uh, the Dozzle container. But again, that's pretty much it on this video, guys. Uh, again, this is probably not necessarily something that you need to have installed, but I think it's a pretty cool little container. I like the ability to be able to view those live Docker logs, so that's pretty cool. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course for starters, we installed Dozzle in Docker. Once we did that, we went over the configuration. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot to it, but went over a little bit of that. 
Lastly, just as an extra bonus, we added Dazzle in uh, to Heimdall and showed you how you could access it that way. We even talked about remembering to update uh, Watchtower's configuration so that it would also update uh, Dazzle as well. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to my spring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. Uh, and again, if you are looking for VPN service, check out IP Vanish. I will have the link in the description below. They offer some great deals on VPN service. And also, as I've mentioned before, if you're interested in trading stock and you don't already have an account, set up a Robinhood account. Uh, if you hit my link in the description below, you and I both will get three free stocks. So that's pretty cool and definitely worth checking out there. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.